Hi again. In the two previous videos, we maximized the contribution for maze furnitures by optimizing the product mix. We had a set of machines with a limited maximum capacity. The capacity used up had to be lesser than or equal to this maximum available capacity. So the constraints were essentially of less than or equal to type. For linear programming, the constraints need not always be of less than or equal to type. They can be more than equal to type or even equal to type. Have a look at the modified version of maze furnitures to understand this better. Now here, maze furnitures makes three products, tables, chairs and special chairs. Each table occupies 4 hours on machine M1 and 5 hours on M2. The chair takes up 3 hours on M1 and 5 hours on M2. And each special chair takes 4 hours on M1 and 12 hours on M2. The contribution of the three products are rupees 45 per tables, rupees 35 per chair, and rupees 40 per special chair. The maximum capacity for machine M1 is 250 hours and the maximum capacity for machine M2 is 400 hours. Now a minimum of 5 tables need to be made for contractual reasons. So the number of tables that you make has to be at least 5. Because of limitation of market demand, not more than 20 chairs are to be made. So the number of chairs that are made have to be at most 20. The special chairs are for one specific customer and she has to be provided with exactly 8 units. So the number of special chairs have to be exactly equal to 8. We need to determine the optimal mix of tables, chairs and special chairs so as to maximize the contribution. So we let the number of tables be x1 number of chairs be x2 and number of special chairs be x3. The total capacity used up for M1 would be 4x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 and this has to be lesser than the maximum available 250 hours. The 4x1 comes because each table takes 4 hours on M1 so x1 tables would take 4x1 hours on M1 and so on for X2 and X3. For machine M2 we would get an equation of 5x1 plus 5x2 plus 12x3 has to be less than or equal to 250 hours. For tables the number of tables which is X1 or 1x1 has to be greater than or equal to 5. For chairs X2 or 1x2 has to be less than or equal to 20 and for special shares x3 it has to be equal to 8. Let us input the sum product formula to complete the formulation. So the total contribution is a sum product of the decision variables x1, x2 and x3 and the unit contribution we go back to the formula and fix the decision variables so that we can copy the formula. Control C and we paste it on the given cells. We then go to solver. Our target cell is the contribution which we need to maximize by changing cells number of tables, chairs and special chairs subject to constraints we start adding the constraints. Our first constraint is the capacity used up has to be less than or equal to the capacity available. We add additional constraints. The tables has to be more than or equal to 5. We add more constraints. The number of chairs has to be less than or equal to 20 and add the last constraint. The number of special chairs has to be equal to 8. After adding all the constraints, we go to options and 
select linear model and assume non-negativity. We select solve for Excel to tell us that we need to make 39.5 tables, 20 chairs and 8 special chairs. Obviously we cannot make half a table. So we need to modify this by going back to solver and adding one more constraint where we say that our decision variables need to be integers. They need to be integers 0, 1, 2 and so on and then ask Excel to solve this problem for us. Optimum solution is to make 39 tables, 20 chairs and 8 special chairs to give us a maximum contribution of 2,775 rupees. If you look at the capacity used up, we have ensured that all the constraints are observed. The capacity used in machine M1 is lesser than the available capacity. Same is the case for M2. We had to produce a minimum of 5 tables, we are producing 39. We had to produce a maximum of 20 chairs, we are producing 20. And we had to produce exactly 8 special chairs and we are producing exactly 8 special chairs. This is a simple case of mixed constraints in linear programming. Thank you.